Hi, this is Bill Watkins. Let's look today at Mark chapter 16, verses 15 and 16. Every once in a while, I'll be a part of a congregation and say, you know what we need? We need a purpose statement for this church. We have a purpose statement for the church, and we don't get to make it up. That purpose statement is given to us by Jesus Christ. Listen to Mark 16, 15 and 16. And he said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. He who believes and is baptized will be saved, but he who does not believe will be condemned. Jesus shows up to the disciples back in verse 14. He rebukes them because they didn't believe the testimony that had been given to them. And then he said, now you go testify of me. You go give this gospel to everybody. And those who believe can be saved. If they believe and are baptized, they'll be saved. If they don't believe, they'll be condemned. That is our marching orders. It's what we're supposed to do. What I love here is that Jesus says, don't leave anybody out. Preach the gospel to every creature, whether they are good or bad, whether you think they're good prospects or not. You let the gospel go to every single person because sometimes the worst possible prospects from our perspective turn out to be the greatest saints. You have a persecutor of the church who was an early Christian terrorist and his name was Saul. He became the great apostle Paul. Don't ever leave anybody out because God's word can do amazing things. It's not your ingenuity and it's not your ability to manipulate the feelings and the thoughts of other people that get them to become Christians. It's this good news that Jesus died for our sins and that he was buried. He rose again the third day according to the scriptures and he's the only answer for sin. You get that message out, God will take care of the response. You get the message out. That's our purpose statement. Thanks for watching.